A new program is helping Oklahomans fleeing domestic violence and their four-legged friends caught in the middle. News 9's Brittany Tuas shows us how this first-of-its-kind program is filling a major need. Walking into an emergency shelter today, I saw a woman with nothing but a couple of grocery bags full of clothes and her dog. A scene advocates see regularly because they say domestic abuse and animal abuse often go hand in hand. We really took a leap of faith and contacted the Humane Society and said, I don't know exactly what this looks like, but there's a need. Palomar's CEO, Kim Garrett, says when the Emergency Family Center opened its doors five years ago, women seeking safety would try to get everyone out of the home. A survivor would choose to go back, not because they wanted to, but because they loved their pet and they didn't want them to get hurt or tortured or killed. Over 65% of victims of domestic violence actually delay leaving their abuser out of fear for what will happen to their pets. OKC's YWCA is also working to create a safe space for women and pets. I've had clients who reported that the dog literally laid out on top of them, so then the abuser, you know, threw the dog off of them. The Humane Society's Animal Advocate Program began in 2018. They've helped Palomar foster more than 200 pets and over 2,000 with other services. The Purina Animal Care Center will be a permanent sick shelter space in an undisclosed area. Pets will stay for up to three days till a foster can be found. Reunification is always the goal. Um, so as soon as they're back on their feet and in a good place, we'll reunite them with their pet. To find out how to foster these pets, just head to the News 9 app. In downtown Oklahoma City, Brittany Tulis, Oklahoma's own News 9.